Please continue to support this channel so that it continues to grow, by liking, sharing and subscribing. Thank you. Perseverance is failing 19 times and succeeding the 20th. In every job that must be done, there is an element of fun. You find the fun and, snap, the job's a game. Feed the body food and drink, it will survive today. Feed the soul art and music, it will live forever. Use your knowledge, and your heart, to stand up for those who can't stand, speak for those who can't speak, be a beacon of light for those whose lives have become dark. Leave everything you do, every place you go, everything you touch a little better for your having been there. Where the Lord closes a door, somewhere he opens a window. If you remain calm in the midst of great chaos, it is the surest guarantee that it will eventually subside. Beginnings are always hard. It is not enough to reach for the brass ring. You must also enjoy the merry-go-round. Some people regard discipline as a chore. For me, it is a kind of order that sets me free to fly. Sometimes opportunities float right past your nose. Work hard, apply yourself, and be ready. When an opportunity comes you can grab it. I'm never lonely when I'm writing because you live with the characters that are so alive in your mind. And you really see them and know them and get to be friends with them. I've never minded being disciplined. I'd always rather have a quiet evening and then go to a wild party. Discipline for me has always been the foundation which leaves me free to fly. After all, children are children no matter their background. If you're passionate about what you do, then go for it wholeheartedly. Be prepared that if any time, you may be surprised by a phenomenal opportunity that may come your way, and that's when I say, do your homework. Be ready. Have you noticed how nobody ever looks up? Nobody looks at chimneys, or trees against the sky, or the tops of buildings. Everybody just looks down at the pavement or their shoes. The whole world could pass them by and most people wouldn't notice. Once upon a time, there was a magic kingdom made of hopes and childhood fantasies. A timeless place where every land was filled with wonder. A place where everyone who entered its gates would be given the gift of the young at heart. I am an optimistic lady. The world is full of magical places, and the library has always been one of them for me. A library can be that special place for our children. The editor works until they get something right. The professional works until they can't go wrong. When adversity hits, go out and learn something. A library takes the gift of reading one step further by offering personalized learning opportunities second to none, a powerful antidote to the isolation of the web.